Hey everybody, here we are with some more figure news and this is a pretty early video because there are some news already from Toy Fair again. Now, there might be more later because today is actually the last day of ToyCon. I said it was yesterday, but thing was, uh, I recorded the podcast and it was already 5 some, something, 5 a.m. over here. So I figured it was the 21st already, but of course in the States it was still the 20th. So today is actually the last day of Toy Fair and we're going to see maybe some more WWE Mattel figures, some new ones. Um, I don't really know if there will be anything new, but I would assume there will be because we ha still haven't seen the new battle packs. We still have to see new basics and maybe even some more elite previews would be awesome. So uh, stay tuned for that. If something is going to be shown, I will be there with an update. And first off, I want to thank my subscriber, Soldrum86, and he pointed something out to me that there was a video up with a Mattel employee that kind of gave some information on the Roaring Place and on, on some other products as well. So I immediately went ahead and watched that video. That video is from Nerd News Today. And it didn't have a lot of views, so I would assume most of you guys haven't seen it. So I figured I would do like a quick news video about this. And thing here is, uh, he showed the Roaring playset. It is 20 by 20 inches, so I think it is really in scale. It is in scale, really, really awesome. I cannot wait for that ring playset, as you guys know. But also here in the video, he did show that the ring posts actually light up. I don't even know if the ring posts light up on Raw. I mean, they probably do. I never have really noticed it. And I don't really can tell from the video here, but it looks like eventually the LED board on the side lights up as well. I don't know if it's just a reflection from the post or if it's actually... Um, that if the LED board works as well. I can't really tell from this. And also noted was Bill Goldberg's first figure will be exclusive to that playset. Now, of course, there will be more Bill Goldberg figures coming out, but uh, this will be a unique Bill Goldberg figure because they are going to change body parts, I guess, afterwards. He said that they are. Um, this is the only Bill Goldberg that will come with that body mold. So it will be av available for a limited time and it will be like a collector's item. So if you want to um, get that version of Bill Goldberg, you definitely need to buy the playset. No, a lot of people are mad about it. Personally, I'm not because I'm really excited for the playset at the first place. But yeah, a lot of people were mad yesterday. I saw it all over social media, even in my comment section. A lot of people are pissed that they need to buy this ring playset just for... Uh, the Bill Goldberg figure. I'm planning to buy the ring anyways. The ring is the more exciting thing to me actually than the Bill Goldberg figure. But yeah, that is pretty much the news that we got on that playset. I uh, will also come with the two uh, announcers chairs and announcers table. He confirmed that. And here in the video you can got, you guys can see that ring really looks in scale and I'm so happy about that. I cannot wait to purchase that. Also, he kind of pointed out, I just wanted to say that. I don't actually believe it's the case. You you saw that Tough Talkers playset with the two cages on the side. And the guy actually said that this will come to life. And then he kind of started. And then it was like he said at NXT Live Tag Team Houston. NXT Live Tag Team Houston. I don't really know when that is going to take place. Maybe he meant the Crash Cage um, place that they, they, they had before and came to life at the NXT show. When was it? Survivor Series weekend, right? But that was in Canada, right? I don't even know. Um, he said NXT Live Tag Team Houston, this place that will come to life actually. I don't know if it's, well, it's true. Might be, because they already did it with the Crash uh, cage playset, but maybe he just mixed something up, so I don't know. I will also link the video from Nerd News Today in the description below so you guys can watch that and uh, see the video. He gives some more information on like the tough talkers and the belts, 
that I don't really care for too much. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it in the description below so you can uh, go ahead and check that out as well. Yeah, guys, that was pretty much a quick news video that I wanted to do for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave me a like. Uh, really thank you guys for the support lately. It has been an awesome weekend with all the news and stuff. And like I said, if there will be more news today, I will be back with that. And I thank you guys as always for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.